So my name is Alan Hooper. I'm with Southwire Company. We're here at the Southwire Solutions University. With me is Dave from Rosenden Electric. All right, so we're going to explain how to properly use the Maxis jack systems, which will lift up a 3,000 pound reel up to 48 inches in diameter. These are the jacks. Very small and lightweight, easy to handle. All we're going to do is set one on each side of the reel. We want to use a piece of two inch rigid conduit as our axle. We're going to remove this pin and set our prong in one of 10 different holes. I like to use this front hole right here. I also have a sleeve and a pin here that I can adjust for more height. This is set up for this particular reel. Right here, all I'm gonna do is open up the jaws of the jacks, slide it underneath the axle with the handle in the up position, close the jaw, insert the pin back in, when I do that, it prevents the reel and axle from jumping off the jacks as we're making our wire pull. At this point, all we have to do is push down and we're ready to make our pull. There's another benefit to these jacks. I have a screw in here that is about six inches long. I can take a crescent wrench and raise or lower this screw to keep my axle level. As you all know, anytime you have an axle, that reel tends to walk. So keep it as level as you can to prevent the reel from walking. And those are the Maxis jacks. So when we're storing the jacks, very important to first put the pin in this foot pad first. If you were to put the pin in from that direction, it can work loose in this foot pad, this foot pad and it could fall on your foot. Once you put it in that way first, even if it works loose, like so, the jacks will not fall. <laughs> 